Uh, Shalom, Akim, your brother Raza Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakar Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great millstone. And um, blessings unto the hopeful elect, the holy elect, Bakwaya Kodash, round of four winds. Just a quick upload, as you know, the RFID chip is a hot topic. As is one of the last major prophecies before our Lord and Saviour Howard Shire comes to deliver his elect, you know, before World War Three kicks off, you know, it's a major prophecy at that, and you know that's why the apostles are always, you know, highlighting it and concentrating on it because it's a it's, it's a prophecy, man. And then at the end of the day, and you know, the testimony of Yahweh Shire is the testimony of prophecy, man. So we 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 must needs but prophesy about this because you know this is one of the you know, end prophecies and the gateways for us, the Hebrew Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that are of the elect to get get the hell up out of here, man. You know, because this is, you know, basically one stepping stone closer to our, our salvation. You know, so this has to happen. Whether, you know, Israel want to hear or forbear, this, this prophecy is going to take place and World War III is going to take place also. So we ain't, we, you know, we ain't going to have, have our, our hands tied behind our back being slothful, we're going to push this word, man, you know, as the apostles keep pushing, you know, keep, um, um, you know, contending, earnestly contend for the faith, basically. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the um, the article, read one or two scriptures and close out. This is off the nextweb.com, and I've got this off the Steve Crow website. It says, brain implants are happening now, are happening. It says, are you ready for yours? So, you know, they got the um, RFID chip system, coming in many different forms man they got the ones where you're going to put in your um, right hand or your f left hand as the scripture says in your right hand or in your foreheads man and now they call these ones the bcis which means brain computer interfaces man and it's basically like a brain chip implant for the brain so it says brain implants or types of neural links such as brain computer interfaces bcis between the brain the internet and the cloud well, that's, that goes into that old, whole IOT the internet of things or, or, or internet of everything man which is going to be a whole that links up with the cloud where bro, you know people around the world have different accounts linked up to the cloud and they can store their data and files in space basically man you know in the, in the flipping air and they call it the cloud man but they want to inter interact all that and interlink it with a damn RFID chip, have all your data and all your your business and your you know medicals on that stored on that chip, so it'll be easier to deal with you and find you, man. GPS and all of that, man. You know the NFC chip, you know near field communication, and um you know it's basically that all that combined into one. Whether you get in your your forehead or in your right hand or your left hand, man. You know, so it's, it's the RFID chip is definitely in the midst, man. You know, as the apostles brought out the article that it's been, um, you know, they're looking to make it mandatory in um, Maryland, man. You know, in the Washington, Maryland, if, if I'm not mistaken. So it, it, we're in that time, man. So this ain't the time to be lollygagging or, you know, or be, you know, start getting slothful, man. You know, this is the time to go harder, man, because, you know, as the apostles said, we're at the last, we're at the last um, couple hurdles before, before we get up out of here, man. We gotta push harder, man. It's definitely gonna go down, man. You don't want to get caught slipping like a book of Revelations, the 16th chapter says, "Woe well, to you to be caught naked, man." Roughly paraphrasing, man. You don't want to be caught naked, basically meaning you don't want to be like caught out there not doing this work, man. The Lord said, "Occupy till I come." You know, you don't want to get caught out there when the Lord comes back with the angels. You know, not doing the work, or doing what He told you to do, because then you know. That, that more than likely you're going to get destroyed, man. You're going to get left out there for the dogs to tear, man, when all hell breaks loose, man. And you're not going to have no um, no defence, basically. This is the Defence Advanced Research Agency, DARA, is ready to run trials. It says, with closed-loop mood-controlled chips linked to AI, the artificial intelligence, all them algorithms and shit that these devils are trying to run, off them supercomputers, says that can deliver an electrical pole impulse to regulate a soldier's mood. So it's all about control. That's what that chip's all about. But they're making it seem like, you know, it's new technology, you know, out with the old, in with the new. And um, basically, they use this, um, the, the, um, the theme of convenience, man. 
to make people enticed by it, man. You know, and now they're saying, and they're basically saying it's, it's going to be a form of control, man. Says they can the electric impulses to can regulate a soldier's mood, so they can fuck you up, man. Just from a, you know, a click of a button on a computer, you know. It says in the private sector, Elon Musk has announced Neuralink, a neurological event that will not only focus on fighting diseases, but also on augmenting, augmenting um, humans so they can um, um, better compete with machines. Because that's what these devils want to be, man. They want to be a superhuman. And the only ways they can be superhuman on the left-hand side is through that machinery, through that AI technology, man. You know? But on the right-hand side, the Lord's going to deal with his elect and they're, he's going to endow his his men with that spiritual power on the right-hand side in the blink of, in, in the twinkle of an eye, man. This is, as the scriptures say, the bodies are going to be chained with a twinkle of an eye and, uh, you know, the brothers are going to meet and receive immortality. You know, in righteousness, but these devils, Esau, the so-called white man's trying to get on the left-hand side in wickedness, man. You know, going everything, doing everything he can to go against what the Most High said, man. And these words, it says the, te this, the technology is advancing in campuses and co uh, government-backed labs around the world. As the scripture says, the whole earth is going to be, you know, um, trialed, tried by this chip, man. This chip system is going to be made mandatory around the four winds. It's not going to be just based in America, but America is the head honcho, you know, the um, you know the big bad wolf of the whole globe, a uh, big um, so-called big brother of the whole globe. So they they're going to enhance it over there, and um, it's going to be pushed around the four winds, man. You know, it says attracting serious funding from established technology players, technology institutes, and top universities. It says for instance, Professor Newton Howard of Oxford University, that's in the UK has produced a functional neural implant prototype says by by combining some of the brightest minds in at MIT. So these devils that had this shit in the works for the longest and now they're just pushing it to the forefront man. And sooner or later, you know, as, as the scripture says it's gonna be made mandatory as the apostle's been saying for the longest it's gonna be made mandatory man. It says Oxford and Georgetown and the resources and um and technical know how of Intel and Qualcomm it says all all of this begs the question in this is the world ready for this kind of human enhancement it says and is it a worthy idea to pursue it in the first place well i for one wouldn't be standing in line waiting for my brain implant and that's the spirit you're supposed to be in man this is the edomite saying this man because these Edomites know about this RFID, RFID chip system, man, that's going to be pushed out there. The ones that are in the into the technology and all them different um, sciences and all that, they know, man. They've been given um, the go-aheads of what's the, what's the next steps in Esau's New World Order agenda, man. But it's the common people's, the so-called domesticators, the, the, the sheeple, basically, that don't know what the fuck's going on, man. This is the upper, the, um, you know, the upper echelon of society, the 1%, the, the, the elites. They're propagating all this, man, and they let whoever they need to know the plans, especially all these scientists and all this shit. Uh, what, what's going down, man? What's the next step? The next phase, man. And the next phase is making this RFID chip mandatory, man. Around the four winds. It says, as it would take away too much of what makes me who I am. That's right, man, because you're going to be a, in league with Satan if you take that chip, man. You know, Lord's going to basically, you basically, you're basically, um, you know, casting up the most high off off of you straight off like to, and trying to and, and you want to say basically say you want to deal with satan you know by taking the rfid chip and the lord's going to reprimand you and put your ass to death especially two thirds of israel that take that chip man this is the promises of a bio enhanced future the introduction of brain implants that we normal people could buy out of more with an open will open a pandora's box of possibilities in it's one of those technological leaps that makes you wonder if our future is going to be heaven or hell. Well, it's definitely going to be hell. It's going to be a bad state, a low, uh, you know, bad condition on the earth, man. If you take that chip, because the Lord's going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to be part of that second death, man, which is the lake of fire, them nuclear missiles, man, them ICBMs, pelting the earth, man, especially America, which is Babylon the Great. Says so this is something that I spend a lot of time thinking about. And if you're right, if you're in the right mind, you know. Brothers, that's in the truth. This is all we think about, man. What these devils are gonna do next, man. That's why we gotta watch and pray, man. Constantly, man. You know, you know, not staggering in the faith and all that, man. You gotta just gotta do what we gotta do. Stay, stay earnest in this truth, man. Fervent in this truth. Keep pushing the word, 
and keep constantly watching and praying, man. Because these devils are going to come for the man of the Lord one day or another, man. Sooner rather than later, they're going to come. And, you know, the, when they come, we got to be, you know, start, you got to have that faith st steady, man, sturdy, man. You know, you got to remember what this whole mission was about, even until the end, man. And don't don't give up, basically, man. Even unto death. The scriptures say, be faithful unto death, man. And the Lord will give you a crown of life. So, you know, that's for the, the brothers that are serious about this truth, you know, that know what this, this truth is really about. It says, and have written extensively about the, in articles and for books. It says, I know it might sound like a cliche, but many of the potential upgrades to humans will probably end up downgrading our lives in terms of health and happiness. Yeah, man, because these devils will be able to control your chips, man. There's even articles saying that they got chips with cyanide in it that can turn your shit on and off, you know, can poison you. Just from a push of a button, man. So, you know, it's not it's not going to be an upgrade in life. It's going to be a straight downgrade, man. You know? So anyone that takes that chip, don't think you're going to be well off because you're going to be, you know, that's going to be your new EBT card for you to go and get, you know, some welfare and all that. You're going to be even worse worse off than if you didn't take that chip, man. You're going to be fucked. And the Lord's not definitely not going to deliver you to take that chip, man. You're going to be left out there for dead, man. It says, while we might gain certain superpowers, we would also lose many attributes that define us as human beings. Yeah, man, because you're going to be in league with Satan. It says, how could we retain non-algorithmic, so like your generated characteristics such as serendipity, surprise mystery, and even free will in a world dominated by super intelligent machines? But there's no such thing as free will, man, but connected directly to our minds. It says, wouldn't a constant connection to a cloud with virtually limitless computing capacity lead to a total, total dependency to a radical loss of the human anatomy, autonomy, and ultimately the total dehumanization of, of society. Well, that's what it's about, man. Because these devils want, want to, you know, put Jake back into slavery. And basically, he wants this to be a um, total sheeple under his command, man, under his control. So it's granted pretty much everybody with wants powers and many of us would do almost anything to become a godlike cyborg. Well, that's what Esau was trying to do, man. With this damn, this damn AI technology, that's what he wants to do. A godlike cyborg, man. You know, AI messiahs, they, the, the term they call it. it. Says if humanity were asked to choose, this would many, would for many, seem a no-brainer. So there's a point I wanted to read. Um, it says um, this uh, this. Paragraph here, and I'm going to jump to the scriptures, man. It says, Will this decision be truly and solely ours to make? Well, the question is, no. The answer is no. Because now they're going to start making this chip mandatory, and you're going to have a choice, man. It says, What, what uh, I'm worried about the most, it says, What you need to consider as well is whether we will have an actual choice to opt out of if BCIs are implemented. It says, well, no, well, now they're trying to implement it or make it mandatory in, in um, Maryland, man. In America, man, so it's, it's, you, you ain't going to have a choice, man. You ain't going to have a choice to opt out. Right now you do, but it's going to come a point where they're going to say it's mandatory. If you don't, you're going to be made an enemy combatant off the grid. and you, you, You're you going to be a, basically a techno, um, called a terrorist, man, you know. It says, assuming that the benefits of technologies are so plentiful, will we be able to find a good job without a BCI? Well, the, question, the answer is no, because everything's going to be totally linked up with the RFID chip system like you got these football stadiums now and now they're, 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 their whole security systems are basically set up like the TSA systems now man in these airports now basically you've got these big barriers that you're going to have to go through like metal detectors or whatever but more sophisticated newer versions and um, they're basically going to like be onto the people like TSA and all that in the airports and that's what they're building these new football stadiums over here in the UK man and that's basically set up because you for you to just have that when you get that RFID chip you can just easily swipe your hands through them barriers and get through with no complaints man you know that's why they got them man because you're going to have mass groups coming into all these stadiums all these so it, you know that's a, a form of straight up control man you know of masses man that's what it's about you know and so you and even if on a regular job, like apostles say, they're gonna they're, all, the, all the systems are getting changed over to straight RFID chip systems, man. So you, and you know you're gonna have to swipe to get into work. There ain't gonna be no, no, no card IDs and shit being given out no more. It's gonna be all, um, that's gonna be out, out outdated. And then upgrade it and put it on the RFID chip for you to 
to gain access to work, whatever you want to do, go shopping and all that. Look at these Amazon stores that they got out there now. You don't even need money no more to, to go shopping. You just swipe with your phone. But ultimately, that's going to be the RFID chip that they want you to swipe it with. Whether it be in your forehead or your, or your hands, man. You know? So it's like someone who insists on banging away on a typewriter or sending telegrams instead of using a computer. Anyway, I'm going to jump to the scriptures, man. So yeah, yeah like the apostle's been saying, man. For you losers out there, for you gainsayers, you've been chatting shit for the longest. What are you going to do when all, all hell breaks loose and they make this chip mandatory, man? Which the apostle's been warning for the longest, man. And that shows that the true men of the Lord, they are the true men of the Lord because the most what most I said that he's going to he's going to send um, pastors that will feed the flock. And he's going to send he sent us out there to warn warn the flock, man, of these things to come. And the only people that are doing that from as the apostles and elders on down, man, with great millstone. To the, to the youngest brothers, man, we all come in that same spirit, you know, because it's the truth, basically, man. You know, the truth can't be hid, man. No matter how much you try and force it down like a buoy, it's always going to come back to the top. So, this truth can't be hid. Now, I'm going to read scriptures and then close out. This is Revelation 13. I'll start from 15. It says, And he had all, um, power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many. As will not worship the image of the beast should be that should be killed, and that's the times we're coming into, man. Because the image of the beast is talking about this system, man. And the word system means a pit, a snare, man, a trap. And this this RFID chip system is going to be a big trap, not only to this one part of the world, but the whole globe. You know, verse 16 t t quantifies that. It says, and he calls if all. So it means it's going to come across the whole whole earth, all all peoples, man, all both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. BC eyes, man. Brain computer in, in, in interfaces, man. Brain computer implants. That's what the BCI is. The mark of the beast, man. You know what? A one path for the mark of the beast. But it is the mark of the beast, none, nonetheless, man. So all you gainsayers out there talking shit about and embargoes and all this about the mark of the beast is an embargo. You niggas are going to be found to be liars and fraudsters, man, and charlatans. I'm losing expose you for the knuckleheads you are, man. They're gonna kill you as well, man. For teaching lies, man. You know, for whatever reasons that you did it for, man. Because your congregations are all gonna be, you know, bugging out when when they make this chip mandatory, man. And they're gonna come running to you, and you ain't gonna have no answers, man. Then they're gonna try and come running to the man of the Lord, and we ain't gonna be on the highways and byways. Lord willing, that's when the um, you know, when the um, famine of the word is, and you lock off the internet and that, you niggas gonna be out there left for dead, man. Cause we ain't going to be on the highways and byways when all hell breaks loose and they push this chip and make it mandatory because there's going to be quarantine zones all over the damn gaff, you know. So we ain't going to be out there. The Lord's going to have his men sheltered off, you know, waiting to be delivered, man. But we still got to, you know, go through this, the, the you know, the hour of temptation as well. But the Lord's going to have his men, um, you know, you know, um, basically co covered, basically, man. Going to have that hedge over his men. Unlike you knuckleheads out there, you two thirdites, man. You know, that came against this word. Chatting shit, keyboard warriors, all of you, man. Proud assholes, all of you, man. Scorn, scorning the scoffers, the scoffy, drinking your scoffy like the brothers in DC was, um, Dallas would say, Salakia. You know, or Mississippi camp, was it, um, that they did in that sit down. You know, drinking their scoffy. And you niggas is finished, man. And it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. It says, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, you know, which is that, which is that chip, man. Because Esau is the one who's head hunt, you know, he's the head of that man. He's the forefront of that whole that mon mon new monetary system, that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. So it's going to be, you know, pushed out there hard, and made mandatory. But this is the punishment for those that take it, man. It's Revelation 14 and 9 that says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, meaning his system, his new monetary system that he's going to push on the globe, says, And receive his mark, the RFID chip, you know, the BCI, the NFC, says, In his forehead or in his right on his, or in his hand. There's even a scripture there that says, In his hands, so it could be right or left. It says, The same shall drink with the wine of the rose high. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, the Lord's righteous anger. Is this pure judgment that's going to happen, man? 
pure death, man. And, says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So basically, anyone that takes the chip, you ain't going to be delivered, man. You know, whether you be an Israelite or a straight, a straight up heathen, man, you take that chip, it's lights out. You know, the Lord ain't, the Lord's going to look on you like you're, you're just a straight, a straight enemy, man. And you're going to get destroyed, you know. I'm going to read one more scripture to close out, Baba Kusha. Didn't want to make it this too long, but you know, go in the spirit as brothers do. Second Ezra 16, verse 68, and on down, man. So here it says, um, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, it says, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered to, unto idols, man, because that's what that is basically what. That's basically what that is, idol worship, man. Because you're basically still pronouncing the white man as your god, and the Lord doesn't, you know, doesn't take kindly to that, man. Pronouncing any man or any item, you know, any form of stone or wood as an, you know, form of worship against him, man. Because he's a jealous power, man. He said not to have any graven images before him, and he's the only power on the earth, man. You know. So the Lord's not going to take kindly to that, man. So you, you're definitely going to get destroyed. That's why the Lord's going to destroy you, because it's idol worship, man. You know? And then it says, and they, shall, uh, and they that consent unto them, so anyone that decides, yeah, I'm going to take the chip, and the consents unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot. So you're going to get destroyed, man. You know? So ain't no, ain't no bargaining with that, taking the chip and all that, man. To say no, man, because if you take that chip, you're gonna get destroyed, man. Yeah. No, but as I said, the men of the Lord, the elect, they ain't gonna take that chip, man. No matter what, even unto death, you know, no matter what these devils throw at, at the men of the Lord, Lord will not be one of those men. As for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So they're gonna come for the men of the Lord, you know. Some one day or another, man, they're gonna come. And we just have to be prepared. And then we, that's why we keep practicing rehearsing righteous acts. Why? Because, you know, the Lord's making us go through what we have to go through, the straight gate, to make us hard, to make us stern in his faith, man. You know? So, you know, so when this, when all hell breaks loose, we ain't going to be bugging out like the rest of the people out there, man. And no matter what these devils throw at us, we're just going to go all out, man. Even if we have to die for this faith, man. You know, the, the reward is, is there, man. The blessings are still there, man. That's not going to be done away with, man. The Lord says he's not forget your works. So no matter what, man, it's got to keep fighting. And even even at the last the last hurdle, man, you know, no matter what. And you know, stop blabbering on and it says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So it's going to be a trying time, man. It's going to be devastating, man. That's why I said it's going to be a, never been a time like this on the earth, man. With any other nation, man, or any nation, so it's going to be a, a you know a serious trying time, man. Knowledge and wisdom should be the stability at that times. So you know, even myself saying certain things while I'm talking about myself, also keep watching and praying, man. Stay in the spirit, stay fervent, keep pushing this word, man. No matter what, the Lord willing, we endeavor and make it through. And we'll be delivered, man. Our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai comes back with the, the heavenly angels and them chariots, man. Should the um, with the, um, you know, what these devils call UFOs, man. But they're IFOs, man. That's our salvation. The strangers of our salvation, you know. So we're, we're almost out of here, man. So it's nearly, it's nearly, this place is nearly going to be um, um, fit to be cooked, man, with them ICBMs very soon. So, you know, we just got to keep holding on, you know, keep fighting that good fight of faith. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to close out. Give all glory and praises to you. I'll shy. you shy. Know, Broke a thumb to the holy elect, man. Until next time, I say shalom.